can find the kill. Time, however, still dwindling. RQ still in a rough spot to try to be able to find this round win. Elmy Moore going to be taken down. Inch here. As Elmy Moore taps the door, holding that hard angle here with the operator. Media can separate this. We can find this opening kill. The, ch the time for our, uh, for, excuse me, for Gen G to not keep pushing out of Russians here. They can't just slow the pace down. Wait for the utility. Door is always uh, up. Finds Munchkin. You Looks for run. a little bit more. Lockdown now oh. coming in. Elmy Moore. Good for the second shot, but soon he's. The newest member in a 1v3. Couple low HP bars. Okay. Snapped in the first shot. This is trying to take it. Times in a row where they prepared to try to counteract it as the nade goes out. Texture in a bit of a rough spot. And actually, oh. it's not even the nade that finds him. It just keeps him in with a chance. But Jemkin trying to hold the line. Readjusts the spray. Picks up three as RQ tie it up 4-4. Four four. Cause and effect here for Gen G because they lost. Again, essentially forced to come up in towards his position. Ooh. Again, Elmi Moore. Last time he was adjusting down. This time he was adjusting up. Wait, what? Finds a shot. Oh, oh. He's been a part of this run back right now. Yeah, they've been dipping in. They actually move flip sider. Gen G, unless they can find a miracle. Yeah, they don't want to push Australia here. He's just will make a very, very good feint that he played away. I, I just, <laughs> I love how LB Moore is just, yeah, chill. <laughs> he didn't clear him off. He thinks that he cleared him off. It didn't happen. Xperro, the absolute Chad just stays glued to it. Long defending start there for RQ, but not really a runaway beginning. Yeah. Here, especially with the toxic screen already set up. It's not a bad idea to do that. They can find Lakia and actually get the trade on him. That's going to open the Seas site fully. And uh, as he has teammates to hold the crossfire, but the paranoia allows them to just drop in. Paranoia, the drop down, the Munchkin does more. For sure. That round, I have to say, like. Clicks two kills very swiftly. A flawless anti eco here for Gen G. As they do in fact on the site. The jump out, oh, Elmore no. can't find the shot. Takes the TP out the safety now. In the meantime, lockdown, trying to clear out the site. Straya. Look how big that zone is. They have to try to force their way out of this way. Waiting for his exact moment to happen. Either you exit out, you go into the straight gunfire of RRQ here, or you get trapped into the team, and you're just... Gen G, take RRQ's map, pick up Lotus away from them. That just hurts. And they you know, players like Lakia starting to step up. Remember there was like a round yeah. where I was like, Final round. Lakia Final does round, not yeah. look good. And Breeze, what are we expecting here? We don't need to look any further. We don't need to wait anymore because we have Yoru on the of double course. duelist and it's Jemkin and Flips. <laughs> starting to see a trend of the Yoru being picked up more, right? But then again, Age of just too Lakia now going to be the last man standing, but not for long. Sparrow will get the final shot and RQ will get their first One down here. One enemy remaining. With Australia getting Texture up on bridge. Leaves just Meteor here to his own devices. Absolutely. Play. Again, uh, as you mentioned, right, the two duelists, the quick ability to pressure from two A. You know, the punish, uh, sort, the utility punish is great, but look at this. Uh, flip, uh, flip side. Right, flip. There's the clear out flip, trying to get the angle, wants to make sure that he can get the spray to connect. We'll find the headshot, and RQ will rescue the round. Go for the side pushes as well. He always finds the timing throughout the his wall sure for safety, but then RQ's like, he's still there, just shoot it through the smoke. Works out, he opens up the site, and then it has happened multiple times. Clutch. What looked like Gen G, a round that they should have been able to win, it is taken away from them. Multiple players had shots, and they know that there's forward presence here. Oh. Swap out of the weapon, lock it, trying to get it, but it's actually gonna be Karon, who is the savior of Gen G. Been a bit of a quiet game for him thus far here with this Astra, but it's held me more as the smoke dissipates. Finishing shot there on a Munchkin to rescue the round. Man, huge stuff from Caron, but that was also, I guess, a bit awkward at the spike. Then Jemkin hit enough on fence that he wasn't going to get full blinded. They know exactly where Elmi Moore is. The spike planted. <laughs> Meteor taking the round into his hands. Comes up with a 4K to get Genji up the five. six round deficit. Solo can impart some knowledge here and observations over to the team. Let's see whose information is going to be kill confirmed. Jemkin with the operator finding Lakia sends out the neural theft. The pings need to come through. But already he's going to get dropped. Caron able to find the kill. Able to see the Yor. <laughs> Munchkin finding one. Jemkin take it down. They know that he's going to be here. Oh. And center pyramid. Oh. Munchkin. He finds three. Bridge and Australia unable to stabilize the aim. He puts some damage in but cannot get the kill. Jemkin holding forward sees the gun. First kills that he was able to get and that would like shake up. Ready for the play. 
as he goes up. Texture trying to tuck it to the corner, ends up getting caught. Knives come back out. Of False sense of security or RQ just height? You know, they like the danger of not having all of these good, better weapons or these better buys. And they're just, they're just honed in. Damage down, but now the crash going right. Oh, oh! oh. It catches Texture as well. They're both the table. Can anybody find the kills? The answer's going to be yes, Meteor. Coming up big. Picks up two. Lockie finds one and flips. Can't Young Gun trying to make it happen. Can't get them over the line. So it's four rounds in the half for RQ, but Gen G still cozy, still out in front with eight. And what? Uh, they came through that decay damage, not having uh, any clear line of sight of the players of Gen G tucked at the back of the site. It's just so many things. Right now online. Bit of extra money there off the plant, and RQ just three rounds separating for them here in this second half to close the gap. And with that timer pause, I think we have a timeout coming our way. Silence. That was only one round one. Estrella committing the ultimate, right? Just goes to show how much they want to. There's the tailwind popped. Swinging out. Tries to send it, but ooh, flips. Not ready to try to go for the punish there. As he gets a blind out onto one, the thrash going to be playing. Yeah, so at that point, RQ was like, ah, yes, one big ultimate that we have to deal less with if you go to B. So that's that. And then as you mentioned, you know, the very, very early lurk from, or forward lurk from Xfero paid so well. Oh, they swing the corner, they're all blind. They're all dead. A flawless finish, Gen G once again denied everything. He had single-handedly won very crucial rounds here for Gen G. And I think that was in the world. The owner of IQ's on my go, who's on a computer, who's on my computer, who's on a 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 computer, has been playing like consistently well all throughout kickoff. You know, he did have, you know, even, even the first series right here. This close, I do have.